sunny remainder of today, high of 49. Going to be cloudy tonight, low 31. Cloudy tomorrow, high 52. Bridgeport now, 50. Waterbury, 43. It's 46 at the new wave. and welcome back to another vlog and for all of you who are new to my channel please feel free to hit that subscribe button officially become a boss babe i would love for you to join the family and for all of my returning boss babes welcome back you already know the vibes yeah but okay so we woke up did a quick little skincare i was up late last night editing um the last vlog which you all had already seen and um just wanted to get my day quickly started. I took a shower like right before I had went to bed and baby, when I say that shower relax me, it relax me, okay? Um, but it's Saturday, today's my friend Cece's birthday, so today it is all about her. Um, you saw in the last vlog what I got her for her birthday and it's like, wow, the day has finally come. It's time to celebrate my girl. Shout out to all the cancers, yeah. But um, I wanna go run a few errands. I need to go take these pillow inserts back to um amazon so i'm gonna go to the ups store to drop them off because these pillow use inserts by utopia i got the 26 by 26 let me just show y'all so these are 26 by 26 inserts you guys saw me unbox these but these are so lumpy like the filling is horrible and i'm just gonna return them and then i'm gonna reorder a down alternative insert because Baby, this is a big pillow, but it's just so lumpy. Like, it's not doing anything for your girl. Um, I got a notification that my Fashion Nova package is here. I had ordered like a few other like little items I needed. Um, what else? And then I'm not really hungry or anything. So I think I might just get like a matcha or just make myself some tea when I come home. I don't know yet but I need to get my hair together. I've had this hairstyle for a few days and um, well, I've had this hairstyle for a week and a day and it just needs some TLC. Like I haven't been anywhere like to try to really do my hair like that, but your girl needs to get it together for sure. So I'm gonna do that and then I have piles of laundry to fold. Piles of laundry to fold. Um, so that's just really it. And then my friend's dinner's at eight. So probably like around five o'clock, six o'clock really, I'll start getting ready, doing my makeup, picking out my outfit. Everyone has to wear black and I have a few options. So I might even make like a cute little reel for Fashion Nova for Instagram, like help me get dressed for my friend's birthday or something like that. Um, that might be a really cute idea. So that means I actually probably need to start getting ready at five so I can have time to film that video. So yeah, and I might even use this Sony camera to film the reel because you know I want just some better quality and I'm just really in love with the quality of this camera. I'm overall really happy with my purchase and if you are interested in the Sony ZV-E10, the link is in my description box so you can get your own baby. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this Saturday started. I'm gonna throw on some clothes to go run these little errands. Check back in with y'all in a little bit. All right, so the outfit is just a cute little, this is old, it's from Fashion Nova. It's just like a little black flowy set. My shoes are also from Fashion Nova. These are so cute. They're like little embellished sandals. Let me zoom in so y'all can see. Super cute. And then the bag, it's like a little Balenciaga type of situation also from Fashion Nova, so your girl is wearing all Fashion Nova. Like, see how cute this is? Like, it's not athleisure, it's just 
you know, dress, dress it up. Really cute, but all right. I'm not taking my camera with me because I can't fit this in this bag. And my fear is scratching my camera because I really feel like I scratched this part somewhere. So she's staying home until we get her like a little protective case or whatever. But I'll just be vlogging from my phone. Ciao. All right, I'm back. There was really nothing to vlog. I just called Uber to take me to the UPS store and to literally drop me back off at home. But I got my Fashion Nova package. I thought I had my Amazon package, which was the step stool I need. Because I want to show you all um, like my new closet organization and all of that good stuff. We got our Fashion Nova package. And there's nothing in here that I want to wear today or anything like that. It was more so stuff I wanted for previous days. But um, I'm about to just hang all this stuff up because it's quite a lot of stuff. I got, okay, and these shoes. I have been meaning to buy some of these pit heels forever, but I normally can't wear size 11 in closed toe heels. But I was like, you know, let me see if I can fit these because I have this dress that I've been waiting to wear for like three months now to go with these shoes. If not, I'm just gonna buy them on Amazon. But I just need them for a picture. Ooh, girl, I can fit them. Girl, I can fit them. I can fit them. Oh my God, look, y'all. I still kind of want the ones from Amazon, but yeah, my foot's not even hanging off the back or anything. Okay, it's a look. Let me find out. These are super cute. Mm hmm Super cute. All right. Okay, so I did not think that those shoes were going to fit me. That just saved me money. And I can go buy a different color off of Amazon. But, yeah, these are super cute. They're going to go with this outfit. Back to the jewelry wholesale store to get, like, something to go with this outfit I'm trying to wear. But um, they had like this whole section that was like that Native American like type of jewelry that had like the teal, the tortoise, the tur I mean the turquoise. So yeah. But I don't keep my shoe boxes. I take my shoes out because I have a shoe shelf, which I'm gonna show you all later in this vlog um, of how I'm trying to like organize everything. <sighs> okay. So my process whenever I get clothes is I like to open everything and then I just immediately hang it in the closet. Sometimes I try on stuff, but I'm not in the trying on mood right now at all. But this dress is super sexy. Oh, I just think anything that is like leopard or cheetah print mixed with something else. It just gives Dolce & Gabbana. Like this dress is so cute. It's super cute. What size did I get this in? I hope I got a 2X. I could have got a 1X, but this is sexy. Get it sexy. Get it sexy. Getting just a smidge hungry. Oh, my poppy soda. I have put my poppy in the freezer and now the can's all messed up. Okay, whatever. All right, let's see what else I got. These are Capri leggings. Oh, baby, these are some a nice quality. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Sorry, y'all. My nose is itching so bad. What is this? Oh, a Capri set. All right. I don't know why I'm such into, I'm so into like these Capris lately. I'm into the Capris, baby. This dress is 
definitely short, but we'll see. We'll see. I got a lot of black stuff this go round. What is this? Oh, I wanted some cargo shorts. Like a Capri short. And I got some faux leather ones. These will look really cute with like a lace up heel. A heel that. But I'm kind of tall, so I don't even know if these are gonna. I'm a tall girl, so I don't know if these are gonna end up being like long enough, but they're cute. I got this bow, and the one I got from Target is going back. Cause I didn't even want that one from Target. It's cute, but it's not the one I wanted. I wanted a silk bow. This one's kind of small. But it's like, I have to do everything with this hairstyle, like now, you know? I gotta do everything with this hairstyle now, baby. And then I got these socks. With the bows. And they're like really long. This is so cute. I wanted to get some Sambas so I could wear them with my Sambas. Aren't these so adorable? All right, I got some more pajamas. I love Fashion Nova pajamas because I just love them. So, cute and cute. Mm-hmm. Just more pajamas. And y'all, I got some white jeans because it's that season. Do these have a rip in them? I don't think so. Yeah, I just got plain white. Because again, I have an outfit in my head that I want to wear these with. But I need some sambas. I need some sambas. All right, I'm just trying to make sure I don't mess up my nails. Because I always mess up my nails when I'm opening these packages. What is this? Did I order this? Oh, I did. Oh, baby, this is real sheer. But it's cute. I'm going to figure out something to do with it. Something to do with it. <gasps> something to do with it. And then I got invited to go to this Pilates studio. And I was like, you know what? Let me get a little Pilates outfit. I'm not really a girl that wears a onesie, but I just need to get over my insecurities with my stomach. And it's like, fuck it. We gonna wear what we gonna wear. What is this? Oh, I ordered some sweats. Perfect. I actually need this for something I'm about to film. So that's perfect. And this is the hoodie for it. Bam. 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 That's the hoodie for it. And then this is something I'm super excited about. I'm about to put a sick fit with this. Oh my God. This is so sexy. Like, it says top and it ties on the side. Girl, please. Girl, please. And then I just got like another everyday athleisure outfits. You feel me? Little sports bra with the leggings. Okay. Well, that's it for all my fashion Nova stuff. All right. So what time is it? It's one o'clock. I need to film something. I need to film something for real. And yeah. 
All right, let me get off camera, get my thoughts together, and then we're about to get ready. shared with y'all because your girl didn't have a camera duh but um a houston mid-century furniture company midi mod had reached out to me via email and they asked me if i wanted a piece of furniture and i was going to get something from my living room but i was like i really am i really am in need of a dresser now um normally i really like light colored oak woods but i felt like with the theme of what I'm gonna go with my room, this really beautiful kind of like cherry brown dresser is going to, you know, it's gonna work. So it's super cute. <clears throat> it fits the space so well and it has six drawers. I love like the little pulls on them and all that good stuff. And it has like this little fluted look, but it's super cute. Mom was saying that like, oh, this is something that you can keep forever. Mid-century modern furniture is always gonna be like, you know, really popular. And you can always take this with you when you move into your home or your town home. The only thing I think that I might do is change the pools on it because I want everything in my room to be gold. Um, but my room is gonna be like neutrals with pops of chocolate. So I think that will look really, really good. And um, I'm super excited to kind of start decorating my room. I just didn't know that uh, this go round of like home decor has been just a little bit more difficult for me because I feel like this is like my first, like just very mature and sexy apartment. Um, so I just want everything to be perfect in this room. So everything's in my head of what I want to do and all of that good stuff. I just need to 
focus now on this room like nightstands mirrors above the nightstands like I have everything saved online of like what I want to do um, only thing I kind of hate about my apartment is that I don't have a hall closet so I don't really have anywhere to store these lights but I have a lot of space in my kitchen and like all this above above cabinet storage um like i said i ordered a step stool amazon needs to hurry up and deliver it to me because i need that step stool so i can really start being able to access the above cabinets in my kitchen um but yeah i've been looking at different ways to decorate like on top of my nightstand i don't want to do a mirror in front of my bed this bedroom is a little bit smaller than the bedroom i had in atlanta but we're gonna figure it out. I just wanna get like a nice piece of artwork to go above my dresser. But yeah, it's gonna be really pretty when it's done. And I'm so thankful to Midibod for sending me such a beautiful, timeless piece of furniture. And I'll insert the clips that they did. Um, they actually had like two delivery men that came and um, a photographer, so that was super cool. Shout out to Jordan they're local they were able to bring the piece to me the next day before 10 30 a.m which was insane so i'm super grateful for them because now i have more storage another piece of furniture that i didn't have to buy and it's beautiful and i'm going to keep this forever but just stay tuned on all my home decor things and i just finished doing laundry now i'm about to do like a quick little beat so i can film something um, I want to film like some real stuff and then I'm going to shower and, and then get ready for my friend's birthday dinner at five. So I'm going to do a quick makeup because we already did our skincare when we woke up this morning and then, um, I'm going to shower and do it all over again. So I'll be back later when it's time to get ready for CeCe's birthday dinner. Okay. So just finished doing my makeup for my friend's birthday dinner. Um, did my hair, did my makeup. Hopefully everything is just good. I feel like my makeup is bomb. Oh God, this little piece is coming out of my fucking ponytail. I just want this to be more, you know, like that. I'm about to use the Sol de Janeiro. I say this wrong every time, but this is the Rio Radiant. This is what I've been using to get that vacation glow all over my upper body. And it just gives you like this nice, wet, dewy, glistening look. And then the trick is to go over it with the Tom Ford Soleil de Blanc Shimmering Oil. That is just drying. Shake this up and just spray this all over. And for my body, I use the Fenty Butter Drop, the one that came out around the holidays. All my scents are just gonna have me smelling yummy and sweet like food. But look at that. Y'all see that glow? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Glowing. All right, let me fix this little piece of my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, so I switched my memory card and changed my battery. All of my old memory cards need to be reformatted because it's saying only have four minutes of video time. But tonight's fragrance is my favorite, Ambry Cherry from Dossier. Like, I swear, this is my signature, whew, my signature scent. The dress is from Fashion Nova. I did a quick little reel. I don't want to sneeze. I did a quick reel, but this dress is too big. This is a 2X. It's so big in the bodice but the other dress i had on was like really short and maybe i might come home and change maybe not sorry i'm like picking my nose i always sneeze after i put on fragrance but yeah i sh um i filmed a quick reel um the birthday girl's always late i'm never late to stuff but i was like tonight baby i just want to take my time <laughs> because i'm always rushing to be on time and no one else is ever on time. And I always spray a bunch of different stuff. So I just wanna put on a little bit more Soleil Blanc, make sure I moisturize and all that. Okay, so I think my boobs are supposed to be there. This dress is really long. It's really long. 
Okay, one more thing I want to add because y'all, I'm obsessed with being bronze is this from Revolution. It makes you super bronzy. I have two minutes of freaking battery life. It looks like I'll be vlogging from my phone for the rest of the night because I don't have time to format these SD cards, okay? There we go. And plus, I'm not bringing this camera with me for the camera to get messed up. Lord, I just pray that we have a safe, fun night to celebrate my friend Cece. I just want to have a good, fun time. Okay? See you all at the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. 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 One more year from them. Yeah. Go on with a vibe. Give thanks for life. Next year we do it again. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, yeah, yeah, my friend. Wow. One more year from them. Yeah. More life to your car with your children. Real from the heart, no pretend. It don't be a bash. If I ever find the ground, nigga, splash. Give thanks to your life, oh gosh. My kids, they make me cut the pin at the stash. Drink and smoke, so we frost. Turn up the sound box. Girl, them a bubble to the max. Everything well, cool and relax. So we send out the location. They a pass back. Pop champagne don't stop, yeah Happy birthday, yeah, yeah, my friend Yeah One more year from them Yeah Go on with a vibe Give thanks for life Next year we doing it again, yeah, yeah Happy birthday, yeah, yeah, my friend Whoa. One more year from them Yeah More life to your car with their children Real from the heart, no pretend good morning happy sunday i am just in the bed i got back in the bed actually oh, excuse me there's nothing going on today i just want to chill i need to finish some editing of course and that's really about it I also really need to go to the grocery store. I just don't have the energy to do anything, but tomorrow's Monday, so I'll probably do all of that tomorrow. Just wanted to come on here and say hello and introduce the day. Um, and I'll get my life together in a little bit. I'm just thinking about like how I'm kind of hungry and there's certain things I want to eat. Like, I really want breakfast food, but I don't feel like going to get breakfast food, you know, like, because I don't have eggs. I've been, I've been not eating eggs lately because a lot of dairy products have just really been upsetting my stomach. So my mom was talking about she made some grits yesterday and I was like, damn, that sounds so good. So now I want grits, but I could make some grits, but I just don't need to put cheese in them because it's going to make my stomach hurt. I actually have stuff to make shrimp and grits too. Hmm. Actually, you know what I'm about to make? I'm about to get up and just make me a little yogurt bowl because I have, I bought some yogurt. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Just make a little parfait bowl. Ooh, it's chill. Good idea, Mia. Y'all, this ponytail is itching me so bad, but I just need it to last for a few more days so I can get some content with my bows. But, all right, y'all. We'll chat soon. Okay, so I kind of got out of the bed, but y'all, I fell asleep on my couch last night and I had makeup on it and I got all the stains out and I used this, okay? This is the truth. I forget which one of you boss babes told me to get this, but I don't know what's in this, but it works on everything, okay? All right, so I ordered food from this Nigerian restaurant called Doopsies. 
I got some plantains and they're fried just the way I like them hard mm. and then I got the sauce like a little like stew sauce for it then I got pounded oat for my FO which is right here I'm sorry, I actually got a goosey. I don't want it to get on my countertops. Oh, that's just overwear. I don't even really need this. Ooh, baby. Okay, so I got my pounded oat because this is more healthier for you than um, fufu. Oh my God, I deleted Instagram and reinstalled it to see if it's gonna fix this problem. And now like all my notifications are turned on. I hate that. Mm hmm So good. What a cold poppy. Then I got some plantains with the house sauce, which is nothing but like stew. Mm -hmm. That's good. I really didn't even need that, but I'm not gonna eat this right now. I just wanna eat this. And I have some chicken. I thought the chicken would be like cut up. And I hope this is not staining my nails. So yummy. So take your fufu or your pounded yam. This is oats and you just scoop it. Use it as a scooper. So good. Mm, 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 mm. I'm about to grub and check back in with y'all in a little bit, okay? Bye. Happy Monday, boss babes. Um, I said this was gonna be like a weekend vlog, but I did absolutely nothing yesterday. Like yesterday was just pure bliss of just being in my house and doing nothing you hear me nothing but today's monday me and the boss mondays i'm about to tidy up the kitchen because i really kind of just left everything out and went to sleep my hair's a mess everything just needs to kind of be refreshed i mean my house is super clean i just need to clean up the kitchen and i'm gonna make myself a little breakfast i want to make um like a avocado toast I might need to run to the store real quick because I want milk so I can make some cereal this week or something. I don't know. But anywho, let me get myself together. Just want to come on here and say happy Monday. I've been laying in the bed like all day, editing a reel, um, just doing some content stuff, answering emails from the comfort of my bed. But yeah, we're about to get this day started. This is going to be a good week. I have some fun stuff planned, a lot of amazing opportunities. So stay tuned.
avocado toast at home. Mmm. It's the everything bagel seasoning. It's so good. Mm -hmm. And then using the vanilla extract, because I didn't have the vanilla syrup, that worked too. Just add a little bit of sugar. So it's 2.43 p.m. This is like my breakfast lunch. It's the first thing I'm eating today. Later, um, I'm going to cook dinner. I just haven't, I've been in a lazy girl mood. Lazy girl mood. I guess because like I'm always just on go doing stuff. Like the weekend, I just went out on Saturday for my friend's birthday. And then I just chilled the rest. Of, I didn't do anything else. But I don't feel like going to the grocery store. I really don't feel like cooking. But I want to use ingredients that are in my house. And also too, that makes me become a lot more creative. And it also helps me like discover new recipes. But I'm going to make like this um, shrimp broccoli and rice dish later and use like kind of like um beef and broccoli but i'm gonna do shrimp and broccoli and it's gonna be so good but i formatted all of my sd cards and i'm about to just work on this new vlog i thought i was gonna do like a weekend vlog but it wasn't enough footage because like i said earlier i didn't do anything yesterday i was a real couch potato and i enjoyed every minute of it every minute of it but this is going to be another weekly vlog and yeah so i'm about to just start editing this one and go from there so i'll check back with you all a little bit later if i'm doing something i'm not sure yet but right now i just want to get some work done and just plan out some content for this week while i still have this half up half down because it's starting to look real crusty and dusty and you know i want to take it out but my next hairstyle yeah but all right y'all let me do some work and i'll check back in with you all in a little bit later hey girl hey it's tuesday evening i just been chilling in the house because your girl cycle started yesterday and i just been kind of like blah so um oops Okay, perfect. Boom. Um, my bad, y'all. But yes, it is 7 o'clock at night. I just been lounging around the house, not having no energy, not having an appetite. But I had to get up and I took like a hot shower, then a cold shower, and just put on some comfy at home clothes. But then I was trying to track down my Amazon package because I didn't get an email stating I had a package. But when I checked the Amazon app it was like a code or something i don't know but y'all your girl is doing her first pilates class tomorrow um a pilates studio uh, a pilates studio reached out to me via instagram sometime at the end of may and um i was like yes let me figure out my schedule because it was like right before my birthday they hit me up and i just felt like june i had a lot going on but i'm just super excited to experience pilates because it's just another form of exercise that i want to incorporate um, just to my, you know, routine and also too, I've never done Pilates before. I really want to try it. So I ordered these socks on Amazon, um, because you have to have the grip socks. And if you don't have the socks for the class, they charge you. So this is five pair and it came in white, cream, black, pink, and gray. And I'm going to wear the pink ones tomorrow to go with my Pilates outfit. My only fear is that these might not fit me because my feet are so big, but it looks like they may have a decent amount of stretch, but let's see. Ugh. Oh my God, they fit. <laughs> but I'm going to show y'all my Pilates outfit tomorrow. Oh my God, I'm about to be a Pilates girl. Super exciting. But yeah, I just want to be a Pilates princess and wear all my cute Pilates outfits. And ultimately, um, 
I admire anyone who does Pilates because it does not look like it's easy at all. But I'm taking a beginner's class tomorrow, so you all will definitely be coming with me. And I have something else that I'm doing tomorrow as well. So your girl is just doing a lot of new experiences here in Houston. And I'm just so grateful and thankful for the opportunities. Um, just for like all these local businesses and brands to reach out to me and to invite me to things and to consider me for things. So yeah, I just feel like, wow, they want me to come to their events like me so i'm super excited about that but yeah today i just need to get some clerical stuff done i have a shit ton of emails to respond to and just trying to um, finalize any pending little collaboration deals i have for the rest of the month of july but really like it's mid-july i get so many emails every day from brands amazon based brands a lot of the asian based brands they don't be trying to pay and it's like i just feel like the place that i'm in i'm in my career gifting and talking about oh this will help you get followers baby 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 your girl's been in the game for a long time okay all that saying you're gonna work with me for exposure it ain't cut no more exposure don't keep the light on in this expensive ass luxury apartment okay but any who darling um yeah i'm about to figure out what i'm about to eat because now i'm a little bit hungry and i'm so pleased with these socks i ordered these last night and they came today so yeah but i'll check back in with y'all a little bit later your girl really ain't doing nothing i just wanted to hop on camera and say hey show y'all my socks tell y'all what was going on but i really do have a lot of work i need to do so i'm about to just you know, get my stuff done, but let me stop rambling. And like I said, we'll chat later. Y'all, the trials and tribulations that I have gone through tonight with Uber Eats is OD. So I'm on my cycle. Hold on. The trials and tribulations that I have experienced with Uber Eats tonight is ridiculous okay so i ordered chilies at 9 14 p.m it is like after midnight at this point let me see what time it is it's 11 58 so i ordered chilies at 9 14 it kept saying that a courier was going to pick up my order chilies cancel my order at 10 20 ish y'all i went on twitter and i complained so uber eats gave me ten dollars in uber cash whoop de doo I mean, I didn't get charged for my Chili's order, but it's just the fact that you wait an hour and you don't have no food. And I ordered the honey, I ordered the honey chipotle chicken crispers, mashed potatoes, corn, and a little mini chocolate lava cake. Order canceled. So now I ordered from this other place called Sunday Press. Sunday Press. And because you know i'm craving like sweet stuff so i ordered three macaroons i got a red velvet a pistachio and a cookies and cream macaroon the packaging is cute and then i got y'all know i'm obsessed with chia pudding this one is a blueberry chia pudding i'm gonna save this one for tomorrow but this is the one i wanted this is a strawberry matcha chia pudding okay and it came granola, so I'm gonna save this one for tomorrow for after Pilates. I'm excited about that. They didn't give me no silverware, which I requested. But let's try the cookies and cream macaroon. What's cookie and creaming about this? whack if this chia pudding is nasty i'm gonna be pissed okay it's good so yummy. 
Okay. This is the pistachio macaroon. This one's good. Y'all were so pissed off, I wanted to cry. My hormones are just fucked. I wanted to cry. Mm. Oh God, the matcha's made with whole milk. I mean, the, the pudding's made with whole milk. Ciao. I just can't win to save my life, huh? I'm trying to get a good little picture. It don't even fucking matter. I don't need no picture. I'm just so, I'm, I'm having cramps right now. Your girl is just going through it tonight. I'm over here going through it, y'all. But at least this is good. I can make this myself, of course, but I just wanted something sweet. Well, good night, y'all. I'm sad. Tomorrow will be a better day. Good morning, boss babes. Today is Wednesday and your girl is going to Pilates, okay? So I'm going to Core Body. It's the only in the first black owned Pilates studio in Houston. I am super excited. Um, just wearing this really cute set. Let me pull my camera down. Wearing this super cute set from Fashion Nova. I was gonna wear pink, but child, I'm on my cycle and I don't have time. For embarrassment today but this outfit is super cute i'm wearing it in a size 2x and it's really stretchy and comfortable and i'm gonna wear one of my new yoga socks i'm gonna wear the black ones just keep everything nice and black baby so i'll pack these with me so yeah and I put a cute little scrunchie in my hair. So I'll show you guys the fit in a second. The class starts at 11.30, so I actually need to be skedaddling in a few. Gonna grab the rest of my things, some water, and then we're gonna be on our way. And I wanna give you guys like a tour of the facility, and I'm gonna bring you all with me so I can get some content, okay? <laughs> all right, I'm about to head out the door. I just grabbed this little, it's like a cropped jacket. This is also from Fashion Nova. It might still be on their website. But, um... Yeah, your girl's looking good. I just have on sandals for now. I'll change once I get to the Pilates studio. And then, as you see, I have this cute little scrunchie on that I got from my granny. And the hair is holding up. I did a little baby hairs. I have a huge breakout because of hormones, and I'm not touching it whatsoever. But I'm super excited to start this Pilates journey. Like, your girl is just wanting to try different fitness things to kind of shape my body, transform my body, whatever the case may be. But the Uber's about to be here, so let's go.
like it so See you can't sleep, baby, I know Does that mean it's for so Move it up down, I've tried all To chill like Nintendo See you can't sleep, baby, I know Does that mean it's for so I can't relate To desperation Might give a fuck Or on vacation And I got this one boy And he won't stop calling When I act this way I know I got him Too bad your ex don't do it for you Walked in and dream came true for you Soft skin and not perfume for you yes. I know I'm not into it for you yes. That morning coffee brewed for you yes. One touch and I'll brand new it for you mm -hmm. And now he's Think about me every night Oh, it's the best beat I can so So you can sleep, baby, I know That's that me, it's my soul Move it up down, I'm tired of Pushing through the cycle and all of that good stuff. And then later this evening, I'm going to go get a, um, I'm going to the talks. So we'll catch up in a second. Let me just get my Uber and go run my errands and we'll talk when I get home. Because then you're going to have to take a shower. Okay, another one. Your girl just finished her first Pilates class. On my way to become a true Pilates princess. <sighs> like, I did that, okay? I did that. I did that. Shout out to Core and Soul. They're located in the Heights in Houston. 
Um, black owned, like I said, Pilates studio. They have two studios. They have two breathing rooms, two infrared saunas. It's amazing. Um, this is my first time going. I can't wait to edit this footage because I don't know what I was looking like. But y'all, that was a real sweat, okay? I was in there sweating. But it was great. I can't wait to go back. And I'm super excited um, to go back and just to strengthen my body. And I'm so grateful for them to for reaching out to me to allow me to have this experience. Um, so, yeah. My, look at my cute little scrunchie. Yo, I love my hair like this so much. I love this hair. I don't want to take it out, but I have, like, other hairstyles I need to do. But um, I'm about to eat this other chia pudding I got yesterday. So this is the other one I got from Sunday Press. It's a blueberry. This one is taro, pineapple, compote, chia, blueberries, granola, coconut milk, maple syrup, and blackberries. So we are going to try this one. The one I had yesterday was good, but it's just like, nigga, I can make that. I know for a fact I can make that, okay? Super yummy. Oh, this one is way better than the one yesterday. Mmm. Oh, yeah, I like this one. Mm-hmm. This one's good. I just love chia seeds. I'm not even putting the granola on there. So, and the thing that is so crazy is apparently granola is one of the foods that I should stay away from with my blood type. But, this is good. Mm. Okay. Sunday press. like that vegan taro blueberry I like this one for sure okay y'all I'm about to eat this I need to return a phone call and I'll chat with you guys in a little bit because we're gonna open up our package from Belux let's see what we got all right so let's open up our gift from my girl at Belux a lot of people have asked me is this my brand because I guess she always posts me, but I'm like, this is not my brand. I wish it was. She sells designer inspired items. And she hooked me up, baby. A little Chanel. <laughs> Chanelica. Ooh. Super cute. I always love all these cute little boxes. All right, so the first thing is a pair of earrings. I love jewelry. Now, for those who are watching this, I cannot buy real jewelry because one, I always lose stuff and break stuff. And two, I'm not, I ain't got it like that if you doing that. These are super cute. I love like the texture on here. Let me flip it so y'all can see. These are super, super cute. I just love this hairstyle. I might have to really run this back because this hairstyle is given. Oh girl, we got something else in here. We got some little hairpins. See, this will be really cute with my, with the hairstyle I have now. And I still wanna get braids. I'm like, when am I going to get my braids? Oh my God, they're so cute. See, I can like put it right there or something. Oh my God, this is so cute. So stinking cute. Okay. Is there anything else in there? Nope. All right. So that's it for that. And then I got some Zior. These are some studs, baby. These is fire, fire, okay? 
look at these. They're like the little bling CDs. I don't know if y'all can see that, but. Oh, it's trying to focus on my face. But this is cute. Super freaking cute, okay? These are so cute. Yeah. And then, is this a necklace or a bracelet? I think this is a necklace. I think it's a necklace. Let me be careful how I open this because this stuff is so delicate. Oh, baby, it's a necklace. Oh. M G. So how does it go? Okay, it goes like this. So, oh wait, it goes like this. Oh wait, no it don't. Oh! Oh! Yeah, let's zoom in. That is so stinking cute. Oh my God. Like, that's so pretty. Thank you so much, B Lux girl. I love you. We rocking forever. Forever. Okay. Forever. Let me close the clasp so I can see. Because it gives you like different adjustments. Because you know I'm a thick girl. Even though my neck is getting kind of unbig. I still want to make sure, you know. Okay, so I think I will put it there. This is so cute. Is it? Oh, and it's bling on the stars. This is so pretty. Super pretty. Thank you so much, B Lux. I love everything, per the usual. Per the use. I'm gonna keep this. This is cute. Y'all, I hit my foot against the metal on my bar stool and I hit my ankle. It's kind of hurting a little bit. Okay, so my plan for the rest of the day um, includes what? Sorry, my nose is itching. <sighs> yeah, um. So my plans for the rest of the day includes, oh yeah, I told y'all we were gonna chat. So I'm going to this place called The Tox at 4.30 to get a lymphatic massage. Super excited about that. They reached out to me on Instagram and I've never seen a plus size girl ever advertised on any of these type of pages or I've never seen any plus size women talk about it. So I was just like, you know, I want to occupy a space where I've never seen representation like myself. So I want to get one done supposed to help detox your body and all of that. And I'm really on this health and wellness journey of just becoming a healthier, happier version of myself, especially healthier, just better habits, better lifestyle things. So I'm excited to experience this today. And yeah, I just want to incorporate just more things, you know, like health as well, baby. Again, like I said previously, I'm not getting any younger. I'm 36 years young. Mm. So, we about to get it in today. Today I want to make something really good and yummy for dinner. So, I'm about to get back in the shower. There is content that I need to do, so maybe it's 128. I can try to do that today. Maybe after the massage maybe before I don't know but I need to shower you guys like this hairstyle should I keep it it's just so cute when you add the little scrunchies at the top and I had took a track out in the back that was loose so yeah all right money calling money calling raining I'm about to go do some content pictures Take my pictures my fucking self because there are no reliable people to help me take my pictures. But um, just have one of this cute fashion Nova fit. 
<sighs> Super cute. I told you all like I'm in love with like the capris. A part of me feels like this bow is like doing too much, especially because it's white. But I also feel like, you know, I need it. So I don't know. What do y'all think? Is the bow too much? Do I even need the bow? Should I have a black bow? I don't know. But the fit is fitting. I just wish this shirt was like more, or should I like tuck it in? If I tuck it in, is it gonna give bodysuit vibes? Tuck it out. You know, we're not tucking it in. Ugh. Have to kind of play around with it. Oops. Yeah, because I feel like I have earrings, I have a necklace, I got the bow. I don't know. What's the bow giving? Keep her or take it off? But I'm trying to figure out where I can go take pictures in my building that will give me the vibe and the aesthetic that I'm going for. So we're about to see. We're about to see. A part of me is like, bitch, take this bow off because your outfit yeah, I'm gonna take the bow off. Yeah. The bow's coming off. This is cute, but this will go better with like a different fit that I have, so. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll be back. About to grab my tripod. I need the tripod. Tripod, tripod. I pray that this is charged. She is, bam. All right, we're just gonna go somewhere and take some quick pics. Get it in, look cute. Let me take this tag out. These always mess up my pictures. Yeah, no bow is better. All right, y'all, I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> hey, y'all, so I had an appointment to get a I had an appointment at 4.30, but I had to cancel it because the Uber rates are like triple quadrupled and it's raining and it's just, it's a hot mess. And I feel so bad because it was something, you know, that was like for a collaboration, but, and if they don't want to work with me again, it's okay. I just, I feel very overwhelmed right now. <sighs> Extremely overwhelmed. Okay. But, um. I need to sit here and edit these pictures I took myself. It's raining. I really don't like the pictures that I took like that. I mean, I like some of them, but I just feel like if I had somebody else take my pics for me, they probably would have been better. That's cute. These pants just didn't do anything for me at all. But it is what it is, baby. We got to get the content done. I'm a little hungry. I have salmon, I have chicken wings I can make. What else? I got scallops. We gonna figure out something to eat. But let me edit these pictures. I need to finish editing a reel. And I'll holla at y'all in a little bit. I'll holla at y'all in a little bit, okay? Okay, so I had to post my picture to Instagram. And for some reason, like my Instagram, Whenever I do a carousel post, whenever I want to crop like the other pictures besides number the first one, it won't let me crop it. Now I have like a second Instagram page where I always test out stuff and on that page it works. So I went and Googled it and a lot of people have been having that issue, but there's a feature where you can cross post between your pages. So I had to post for my secondary page and it posted it to my main page. So shout out to the pictures I took by myself. You feel me? And I just made some tacos, y'all. I made my own fried hard corn tortillas. Look at this. Look at this. Salmon tacos with a little slaw. Mmm. 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 That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Period.
Okay, let me go eat this. I'm about to eat my food and um, just kind of scroll through the gram, interact with people who are interacting with me. And then I will, I don't got nothing planned today because I have rescheduled my lymphatic massage. So there's some other things I could be doing work-wise, but um, I mean, I really just sat up here and, and edit these pictures for like 30 fucking minutes. So I'll be back later, child. Good morning, boss babes. It's Thursday. My bonnet never wants to stay on, but um, just getting an early start. It's almost 8 a.m. I'm wanting to um, just do some health and wellness things today, take care of my body, get some rest. I have a lot of work I need to do, but I wake up early on Thursday so I can take my terzepatide shot from Mochi Health. So this is the cute little kit that everything comes in with the syringes and then also like the um the alcohol wipes. This is my fourth week on terzepatide. And um the weight loss, I haven't seen drastic weight loss because again my dosage is pretty low. Um so yeah. My dosage is a five milligram or 0.5 milliliter. So this is the last one I'll be taking today. And then I do have to repurchase it um, for the second month. Although I am promoting Mochi Health, I am a regular customer, just like you all. So I purchased my medication. The first month I received $100 off. But every time you guys use my referral link, you can save $40 on your first month's membership. And then for a limited time, while they still have um, the $100 off your first month medication, take advantage of it because the terzepatide is, it costs a little more than semaglutide does, baby, okay? So I just prepped my injection site and I'm about to fill the syringe with the rest of the medication. Yay, we're done. We're done. We are finished, baby. Okay, cool. So I'm about to get myself together. I never went and got any milk because I really want to eat this bowl of cereal. But I got no milk. But um I'm about to do my morning skincare routine, all that good stuff. I took all of my gummy vitamins already because I'm about to eat breakfast. But I, I need to take, I need to eat something to eat like all of my stuff, like the capsules and all that stuff. But again, like I was saying, I'm trying to educate myself more on different supplements to take just to help with overall things. Um, this may be TMI, but y'all, I have been experiencing the worst constipation lately. So I'm really just challenging myself to ensure that I'm just staying hydrated because I feel like maybe I haven't been drinking enough water lately, um, not been taking enough fiber. So I'm going to be going to the store to get just a lot of things. Like I need something that's going to help with my bowels because this has not been a fun experience at all. Um, ciao. But yep, I'll hop back on camera later today. Happy Friday, boss babes. I am so happy it's Friday. I have some things to do today. I just put like a bunch of this rosemary oil all over my hair because there's still glue in my hair. And I don't wanna wash my hair. I don't feel like washing my hair to get all of the glue out. So I made an appointment to go to Ulta at three to get, a, to get like a blowout or something. But I really just want them to wash my hair really good and just blow dry it. And then I'll just like throw it in a bun and I'll do something to my hair, probably, I don't know, maybe, I, I don't know. Because I'm really in this dilemma, like, do I really want to get braids? Like, do I really want to get braids? I have the braiding hair, I have all of that, but it's just like, girl, do you really want to get braids right now? Like, I don't know. But I have an appointment at um, the Tox. In a little bit so I'm about to go there get a lymphatic massage maybe this might help with some of like the 
muscle achiness on my abdomen because of the um the pilates but yeah my hair is just slicked back it's very dirty very messy but at least these sunglasses make me look a little chic a little cute um but yeah your girl is about to get ready to go they said don't eat anything 30 minutes before the appointment so i think i'm about to just kind of be out like you know kind of like like all afternoon or whatever until it's time for my other appointment so i'm about to just get something because i need to take something back to target i want to stop somewhere and get some food there's this restaurant that i went to in london that's in houston now which i had no clue about um there's a Lueve store in river oaks district now i'm just like what the heck is going on but anywho there's a lot of stuff i want to do today i just want to do something nice for myself get a nice little lunch and wash this dirty hair i'm gonna be putting this hair right back in a ponytail but yeah and my sony zve 10 screen has a little tripod symbol i've never seen that before but okay but i'm about to switch out the tripods get my small one for travel and we're about to go and i think i might stop at marshall's too we're about to have us a little day and i'm bringing y'all with me i'm gonna bring an extra battery too just in case hey, yeah. don't want to sound fun of myself a room but you ain't looking at no other dudes cause you didn't love me i'm sorry man. so you think about a chance you find yourself trying to do my thing to be clean and it's clean i just left ulta from getting my hair done and it already is in a clip now listen i booked a blowout and then i was asking her about getting my ends trimmed but i don't trust everybody to trim my ends she said getting your ends trimmed there is 47 dollars because it's considered to be a haircut that's why places i feel like places like this they are it just doesn't make any sense. But she gave me a blowout. She washed my hair. I got 
convinced to get a clarifying shampoo because I had so much oil in my hair. But um, this is what my hair looks like. She was like, because your ends aren't trimmed, it's just not going to have like, you know, the body it needs and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, my ends do need to be trimmed. They feel dry and brittle. And a part of me wants to fucking cut it myself, but I'm not going to play myself like that. But my hair is growing. I don't even know what it looks like back there, but uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do, I mean, I don't even know why I'm tripping right now. I'm not tripping. It's just, I planned on putting my hair in a, um, you know, a bun. That's all I'm going to do to my hair is bun it up. And then on Wednesday or either Monday, I'm going to um, just get another quick weave. But I don't like my natural hair like that because it's just, I don't like how the ends look like this. That's why I always wear my hair in a bun, a slick back. But anywho, my step stool, my two tiered, two tiered ladder. Sorry, I just saw something on the wall. I gotta get that off. But I ordered a ladder from Amazon because I need to organize my closet. So that's what we're about to do. Let's go. <laughs> I'm not using the sriracha. I just wanted all the vegetables that came in here. And then I also got um, some shiitake, like stir fry mushrooms. So you all see the vision, stir fry vegetables. And then we're gonna have rice, top it off with a little green onion. And then we're gonna have our shrimp with it. And then I got some mint leaves for my matcha. I mean, what can you say matcha? I got mint leaves for my um little dr drink I be making. I got a shallot because I just like the taste of shallots. Then I got some Simply Lemonade, the low calorie, 25 calories, five grams of sugar, period. We got some more strawberries, which I need to wash ASAP. Wash the strawberries. I was craving something sweet, so I got some Lorna Doom cookies. If y'all never had Lorna Doom, these are my dad's favorite cookies growing up, and he never let us have any. But this little box is like almost $6, so yeah. And then, of course, I got some more lychee. Then I got some home products. This is my favorite mouthwash. And then I got this Keep It Moving Constipation um, <laughs> Vitamin, some more Dial Antibacterial Soap, 
And then I just got some makeup wipes. So that's to conclude my HEB journey. So, yeah. <coughs> oh, my abs hurt, y'all. All right. So, what else goes in the refrigerator? I need to clean all these vegetables and stuff, though. So, all right. I have to unbox some other stuff, but let me just tidy up a little bit and I'll hop back on camera so we can chit the chat. put some spicy mayonnaise on this thing but y'all I wanted to make the sauce like thicker and less liquidy so I added a little bit of cornstarch and baby the cornstarch did the trick wow I made this I didn't even get no picture Girl, girl, mm, 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 mm. all right, y'all, I'll be back. Hey, boss babes, it's Friday night, and it's like 10 something at night. I might be. Yeah, oh, it's 11.08, but um, I'm ending this week's vlog. This vlog, I feel like, was very eventful, and of course, you all will let me know in the comments, right? So go ahead and leave me a comment. Tell me what was your favorite part about this vlog. Um, this vlog is kind of long, I think, but we're about to sit here and actually edit the vlog because I'm trying to be back on my routine, get down to, or get back to my postings um, on Mondays, okay? Okay, maybe even Sundays. I don't know. I like the Mondays because I feel like, you know, it's me. It's like my me of the boss Mondays. But anywho, but I just want to thank my boss babes so much from the bottom of my heart because I really do it for y'all, you know? I do it for y'all and without y'all, there would not be a me of the boss and that's on period. 
but I hope you all love this vlog. Um, just getting to see just different things um, that I've been getting into, being able to kind of experience Houston with me as, you know, I'm still new to this city. Getting into my creator bag, um, just having different businesses and brands reach out to me that, you know, that are Houston based that want to work with me and just coming along this health and wellness journey with me. The journey never stops and just doing new things. You know, it's like we're both getting to experience Houston from my perspective and I'm loving it. And I had a really good week and today was a good day and I'm just very blessed and very thankful. And I hope that tomorrow and you know the upcoming days that this is going to be an even better week and i hope i do something to my hair but boss babes i love you all so much and if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button you got all the way to the end of this video hit that subscribe officially become a boss babe i would love to have you join the fam we're cool over here okay and until next vlog good night and y'all have a good weekend